all straight in. Oh, so no, no longer on the platform. No longer yeah. on the platform. No, no, no teleporting down. Having to, um, having to press that um, annoying um, mess, mess box. Yeah. Cool. If, the, if the kill has started already, you will go up to the platform, though, so you can observe but not fight. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, fair point. Um, sweet. Yeah, so you're now jumped straight down. His voice uh, is fine. He's talking about AOD and he's magically fine. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Um... So if you come in and you spectate, you will still be put up there. Mm -hmm. um, so you can still spectate the fight. Um, we've removed the fog from the room uh, because previously people were just using skybox filters. Um, Sorry. <laughs> to get around the fact that you can't see across the entire yeah. platform. It looked really um, nice, but, you know. It didn't look nice. Wow. It was awful. It was, it was atmospheric. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of added to it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well... She's taken down the smoke crystal, and now, oh, there's, nice. now there's less fog. <laughs> nice. um, so yeah, so now you'll be able to see across the room whilst also getting the proper um, lighting, etc. Um, we've also added, so if you usually jump down and you've got a bank, you've got your terror bird or something, uh, <laughs> you can leave, and this will put you in. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Maybe I use Hopefully, ne yeah, it puts you in the next bank. Um, so... Can do that. Nice. Mm -hmm. and That's good. Uh, we've got the same option on the, do you want to go through the on the end thing as well. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rattle them off, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so obviously, as you mentioned, uh, well, as we've shown, the AOD kill yeah. timer was thanks. Uh, KOC was removed when um, we get on there, so I don't have a time anymore. So when you log in from this update, it's going to be reset. The important thing to mention is that now a kill timer is only set in a team of seven or lower. So yep. seven or lower will set your kill timers now. And so. you, so obviously, you won't be able to get. Like super fast kills recorded in mass. Um, uh, yeah, obviously, so you'll still be able to do they'll mass. They'll only track such, um, in kills with seven or less people, and that is checked at the start. So you can't do a 50 man team and then log 40 people. <laughs> um, oh, we're going for the chest. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Anim it's not an animation. Uh, it's animation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you grab? Crew or? Oh, dear. Oh. Um, also, maybe. when you unlock a chest, and if you already had it, you will now unlock the, uh, the banner. Awesome, the banner. Mm -hmm. the awesome banner. Oh. Um, so you'll have that. It's groovy. That's, uh, that's nice. Uh, so yeah, if four, you already own that right. overrides, uh, that will automatically, automatically unlock. Mm -hmm. Be unlocked for you. Um, is this RC? Or? Uh, yeah, it's RC. You got to finish at the top. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I say, yeah. I think those debugs are still in the release build. It's a yeah. whip of RC, so you can do all that. Okay. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, fine. Cool. Um, he's going for some damage. Oh, he's actually going to show. Okay, cool. So if we jump into a fight, um, I can take you through. Uh, yeah, yeah talk, you through talk you through some bits. Um, so we'll just wait for her to kick off. Uh, so now she will, uh, when she begins the fight, um, she will actually uh, target the person who started the kill, so usually the tank. Um, previously, when the fight started, she would just be like, Yo, I'm gonna Random hit, person, yeah. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. hit Billy over there. I.e. the aggro issue um, you obviously mentioned many a time before. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and she would usually always, well, sometimes she would re aggro after this. We did about. Uh, you got to take as well. <laughs> we did about two hours of testing this one attack uh, over and over and over on um, Friday, and she didn't do it, so we're pretty happy with where it's at. Uh, I'm gonna show you the messaging when the mages die. Um, so the mages are dead. So as Ooh, you can see down yeah, here, that's nice. um, she will met uh, the minions will mez out in yeah. their color, respective so, to their style. Uh, so everyone yeah. knows in the kill which order they died in. Yeah. Um, nice. So and you also didn't really get to see, um, but when she was phasing, it was uh, pretty much seamless. Uh, you are able to attack her. Yeah, um, so you can still build a drain. You get yeah. a little bit of damage. A little bit. Um, of, yeah. Um, the icicles around the edge as well. Do you want to talk about those? Yeah. So in there was a mechanic. Um, oh, I can hold on. We'll talk about oh, this one first. Are you about to die? Have you got a potato? No. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I did die. Damn. Uh, brilliant. Um, so at the start of the kill, um, let's teleport back there. Uh, there was a mechanic where the icicles around the edges would um, slowly uh, Creep close in, in. Mm -hmm. but this. On almost every kill I've ever seen, this mechanic never actually came into play. And when it did, um, because of the amount of spot anims that were actually being played mm. on the map, it uh, lagged people a fair amount. Um, so rather than kind of make it relevant, I just removed it. 
because ah. it wasn't doing anything. Yeah, nobody was seeing it anyway, so... Plus, it just makes the fight um, cleaner. Uh, yeah. Uh, shadow so, orbs you made changes to, too? Uh, yeah, shadow orbs. Um, so now they're no longer um, locks. They're now controllers, so that means they can stack on top of each other. Okay. Um, but the damage has re been reduced to B300, so if you do stack them all on top of each other, they'll be yeah. about the same. They no longer do AoE damage. Uh, so originally in the beta uh, change, I made it I made it so they did uh, area of effect damage, um, but now they only damage you, like they did beforehand if you were standing directly on top of them. Um, there's a really cool update um, that I like personally, which is when some well when someone's in the icicle is killed or removed, it resets the movement abilities, right? Yeah. So it's kind of getting back into that fight. Yeah. Well. So when the icicle was when a player was hit with an icicle, um, their defenses were reset and their movement abilities were reset. So even if the icicle was killed or they used a comp cape emote to avoid the bleed damage, <laughs> wow. <fixed. laughs> um, they wouldn't be able to get back into the fight uh, quickly. So now, once the icicle is cleared or killed, their defensive is a reset, so they can blade a dive, surge, escape, yeah. barge, whatever, whatever they, all, all, whatever all they them. To. Well, four. Should we talk drops as well? Drops and changes. Yes. 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 Where we go? Oh, let's let's jump right in. <laughs> I'm going to potato it this time. I can't potato it. There is no insta killing. Oh, yeah. oh no, I, mean, I, mean, I mean to avoid yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to not get insta killed by smoke and um, thingy. Oh, smoke so, was still insta killed, you right? Uh, changes to the, how the drop uh, system works. So originally it would roll um, DPS and then it would roll tanks. So there would be two tanks. Um, I've removed the second tank drop because um, usually the second tank would get the DPS drop. Yep. Um, and I've also allowed it so everyone is able to roll on a rare, on a unique. Um, Whereas previously, uh, if if the first person to roll uh, on the drop table got a wand, that means the next six people aren't able to actually roll on a codex or a wand. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we've done now is we've um, kind of removed that punishment, uh, meaning that if you go in and you duo, you have a duo drop rate, which is the, sim the same as if you went into seven man mode. Okay. Um, so it's fair for everyone. Oh, so the the, the random chance is the, lower for the less people. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's it will still be exactly the same drop drop rate per kill. Okay. As it is in live, um, just to make sure there's no like everyone's saying panic sell codex and if you do, <laughs> you've just probably lost money because people will buy when they're low. I've got offers in. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so. Another thing with the drop uh, changes is on Friday we sat there for about an hour running kill, um, running kills over and over. As you can see, oh, I mean we only got one beam, we got two beams. We're two, yeah, two beams. Pass. Yeah. Um, now, uh, when you do a kill, everyone will get a beam. Um, that means so DPS pile one would appear here, two, three, uh, four, five, and six tank in the middle, and then scrubby participation drops. We'll all get dropped here. So. Wow, rude. Um, it's, I mean, that's what they're calling The codes, potato so. is how we got the pets, by the way. No, that, that, was, all, that was, was RNG. There, there was no... Wow. There was I no got wow, that's, that's really lucky, man. <laughs> and I got the blood tentacle. Um, yeah. Trust me, we would have reacted if it was legit. <laughs> um, so yeah, trust me on that one. So, yeah. Uh, what else has changed? Uh, oh, so we got, oh, we got the quick exit on the pillar. Uh, oh, yeah. Ice, icicles have lower HP now. They're down exit. to 20k, right? Straight out. Uh, so you're more incentivized yeah. to so kill them. So the icicle yeah. is now from oh. 100. <gasps> mm -hmm. You're right there. Uh, nope. I don't yeah. want to crash the server. Oh, because you're killing oh, right, everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't don't <laughs> kill everything in Godwars Dungeon at the same time. That doesn't end well. So I've we been got? there before. Quick, quick leave. Uh, if you are at the end of the kill, just please make sure you pick up your loot because <laughs> as much as you post on Reddit about it, you you click exit. Um, next, no, next will no longer cleave with her melee hit. Mm -hmm. um, bit of a, like a lot of people are against this, a lot of people are with it, but the people who are um, against it, the people who are doing like fast kills, they do group venge, they get cleaved in melee, they do a little bit of damage. Your timers are being reset anyway, you'll find a way. Um, and that's that one. Next should, should no longer re aggro after any of her attacks, true. I don't think we're doing that one. I know we kind of mentioned it, but I think maybe reading that is fine. The highlight uh, one. If next, so if next hits the base tank with magic, I've now put the the actual hit on the base tank nice. at a delay of three. 
Um, so they are a easily able to react to the animation and switch prayer because previously it was just a you would take a ton of damage and mm -hmm. you wouldn't have time to you wouldn't really have time to react. Um, and this is kind of like a, a quality of life for people who base tank. It's not the funnest role. Usually, like you start off a raise team and everyone's like pet tank, pet tank deeps, and <laughs> some poor soul has to has to base tank every time we're testing a, a group boss in house. We always make fun of base tank. <laughs> like every time. Um, base tank is miserable, in my personal humble opinion. Um, what else we got? So I think that is it. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's, that's all of them. All in all, she's just feeling a lot smoother. Yeah, how how she should have felt on on launch. Um, and well, obviously, you know when update comes out next week, we'll be we'll, keeping an eye on yeah, it. Yeah, we'll, we'll how monitor it. Um, if there's any changes that are massively rejected, um, probably won't change up again. But we'll talk, sort of talk through with you, um, see what you like. But. Originally, when she was first put onto beta, uh, a lot of things were buffed. She was made harder. She did have more HP, um, but you know we took, kind of took everyone's feedback on board, um, took a step back, and said, Look, "Let's just make this quality of life." Yeah, so, shout outs to Kane of Fire and Wacky Farmer. They love base tanking. Yeah, keep it up, man. Man's, um, man's, man's. man's. <laughs> that's, that's the plural, right? Keep it up, man's, man them. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, that's uh, another s a part of PVM revitalization uh, coming up next Smooth. Monday, which is awesome. So awesome that you were able to get it out in this update. What's which the is point exciting. in killing ice instead of ignoring it now, so you can get your dude out quicker? And the movement and abilities come yeah. back. It's yeah. gonna it's gonna reset their uh, yeah their movement abilities. It's gonna I stop mean, them taking a bit more damage. You can leave them in there. Also, oh, that's another thing. So this is might be the only buff, but. Um, or, yeah, so when the player is under the icicle, the damage is applied after six seconds, regardless if the icicle is... Uh, if the icicle is still on them, the bleed will be applied to them. Okay. Um, but if the icicle's killed, I believe it takes it away. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's fine. Um, yeah, you're just, like, you just wild magic it and asphyxiate, or just... It's 20k, it's... Let him chill. 20k is nothing, especially let, for an yeah. S7 man team. Like, yeah. the, the defense has been reduced from, like, something stupid to 60 so you can literally just do it yeah it's, it's worth any it. decent weapon you'll always hit so and especially if you're in the seven man you're getting a drop anyway so mm -hmm. like why not all right awesome or you can reprise on it <laughs> <laughs> cool well i want to get around i want to go on that section so yeah hopefully that excites you for uh, aod stuff um, if you haven't tried it give it a try next week for sure someone's that saying be loot beam rev pet that is already in that went in this week right the rev pet loop yeah. should be yeah. in. I'm that's pretty in. Sure. That's in. 